Hey guys, Bill here. You know, when it comes to mystery pictures, nothing tops the pictures that come from the ocean. I can't tell you the number of weird and wacky looking monsters I see in my inbox every day, but what I can tell you is some of them are real and some of them are fake. And you guys are having a little bit of an issue trying to figure out which is which. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top six that you've been asking me about lately and I'm gonna go over them one by one. Number one is this unidentified creature sent in by Jovaldo Gunnelson, Evan Murphy, Amber Zoa, and the man from Sweden, just to name a few. Now guys, if you ever see one of these on the beach, make sure to check on eBay to see how the bidding's going because it's not real. It's a creation of Tampa's wildest and craziest taxidermist, Juan Cabana. I like him already. <laughs> Juan, who you might recall, was also the creator of the famous mermaid corpse found on the beach not far away. Now, both creations sold on eBay to make Mr. Cabana's imagination just a little bit richer. Number two is this two-headed baby shark sent in by Raptor Rex, who said it seems a little fishy. Well, Raptor Rex, there's no shortage of fishy looking sharks on the internet, that's for sure. But this one happens to be real. It was turned over to scientists by a Florida fisherman and verified to be the world's first documented case of a two-headed bull shark. Scientists x-rayed it to verify the fish divided into parallel systems above the pectoral girdle, resulting in two well-developed heads. Next, we have this little mysterious number sent in by April Radad, Holly Walker, and somebody who goes by this name, which I won't even try to pronounce. Now guys, this is a Diplocolis, or hammerhead salamander, that would probably make headlines if it was real, but it's not, unfortunately. These boomerang-headed guys haven't been around for millions of years, except for in the form of this artistic recreation made in Japan just a few years ago. The real ones grew up to be about a meter long or about 3.3 feet. Perfect size for a pet if you lived during the Stone Age. Number four is this freaky looking fish sent in by Joel Angeles. I didn't have a clue about what this was, so I posted it on my Facebook. And that's where reader Nathaniel Chaz Sart first correctly identified it as real. It's called an armored sea robin. These are deep sea fish and related to the regular sea robin, but the regular sea robin doesn't have as much body armor as this one. Our fifth mystery creature today is this open mouth little guy. It was sent in by Mr. Disney Infinity who wanted to know if it was a real fish. Well, Disney, despite widespread rumors that this is called a coral fish, this is not a fish at all. It's actually a group of sea sponges that caught the attention of photographer Mauricio Handler while he was diving in the Caribbean. Lots of people think this thing looks like the cookie monster from Sesame Street, but they also thought the same thing when NASA first showed this picture of an impact crater on planet Mercury. The last one today is this very mysterious creature first sent in by Vladimir Anatoly and George Antonou. A tourist named Harvey Robertson says he accidentally took a picture of this ocean monster off the coast of Greece. Now, some people think it's a baby hippo, others a deformed manatee. But Bill's Channel researcher Kyle Darkova thinks what we're looking at is the tail of a dolphin that has been cut off. But considering no scientist has been able to determine exactly what this is, it must remain a very rare unknown for the time being. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I wanna thank everybody for sending in those fantastic pictures and videos. And don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. <laughs>